Hi everyone, super excited to share with you some cool stuff that we've released as a part of Prisma 5.4.0. In this video, we're gonna be talking about setting up Prisma to work with the Neon and Planet Scale serverless driver adapters. We're gonna check out Neon first and then go into Planet Scale. So already I've got my .env set up with the connection string from Neon. And I've also installed Prisma and Prisma Client at version 5.4.0. I'm now going to install some additional packages that we need for serverless database drivers. And then we'll see if that connection works. So first things first, let's go ahead and install the packages we need to get set up with Neon. First, we're going to need uh, .env. That'll help us read our connection string inside of our TypeScript code. And then let's uh, install the Prisma adapter for Neon, as well as the serverless database driver from Neon. The last thing we want to do before we get started is provide a WebSocket constructor to the Neon serverless database driver. We can do that using the WS package available at Node. So we're going to install that. I'll just show my Prisma schema real quick. Make sure that for Neon, you set up the data source provider to PostgreSQL and make sure that you have the driver adapters preview feature. Without that, this is not going to work. And now we're ready to dive into our TypeScript code. So we have our blank app.ts here. Let's write a little bit of code in order to make that uh, work. So we're going to need to import some packages, set up the Neon database driver, and then pass that database driver to Prisma in order to use our driver adapters feature. So first things first, I'm going to import a couple things from the Neon serverless database driver. Now I'm going to import Prisma's Neon adapter. This is the library that helps us communicate between the Prisma query engine and the Neon uh, serverless database driver. Now I'm going to import our Prisma client as normal. And finally, .env and ws in order to do a little bit more setup. Now that we have all our imports, it's time to get started. First, we're going to run .env.config. That's going to pull those values that we have in our env file into the process.env available in TypeScript. Next, we're going to use neon.config to supply a WebSocket constructor which is just going to be WS. And then finally, we're going to use that connection string that I mentioned that's in our .in file. Now we're going to init the Prisma client. This is a bit different from what you've seen in the past, but it's but is pretty straightforward. So first, we're going to uh, establish a new pool for Neon. We're then going to give that Neon uh, connection pool to the Prisma Neon adapter. And then we're going to create a new Prisma client with that adapter. Cool. Now we've imported the Neon serverless database driver. We've imported the Prisma Neon adapter and our Prisma client. We've done some setup and we've created a new Prisma client. And now you're able to use your Prisma client as normal. So from this point on, that your Prisma code will look pretty much exactly like you're used to, but under the hood, we're leveraging the cool features available inside the Neon serverless database driver to communicate with your database over a WebSocket connection instead of the long-lived stateful TCP connection that's standard with Prisma. Okay, now let's set up Prisma with the PlanetScale serverless database driver. First thing we'll need to do is install a few things that are needed by PlanetScale. First of which is the PlanetScale driver. That's at PlanetScale slash database. Next is going to be the Prisma PlanetScale adapter. And finally, we're going to add Undici, um, which is going to provide the fetch function that we're going to then provide to PlanetScale. Cool. Now we have all of our dependencies installed and I've already put in a connection string to our .m file. 
Here's a look at our schema file. You can see here that we are still using our driver adapters preview feature. And for plant scale, your data source provider is going to be MySQL and make sure that you have relation mode set to Prisma. In our app code, we're first going to pull in, import a few needed packages, connect from Planet Scale database the Prisma Planet Scale adapter, the Prisma client, of course, as well as .env to be able to use our connection string defined in our uh, defined in our .env file in our TypeScript code. And then finally, we're going to be importing fetch from Undici. Now I'm going to perform a little bit of setup. First things first, we're going to pull in those values from our .env file and create our connection string. Now we're going to initialize our Prisma client by first initializing the plant scale driver, providing that driver to the adapter, and then providing the adapter to the Prisma client. So first things first, we're going to start the plant scale connection. The URL is going to be our connection string, and we're going to provide the fetch function of Undici fetch. If you're in node 18 and above, there is a global fetch function. And so this part isn't necessary, but Prisma supports node 16 and up. So just for completeness sake, we're going to you know, supply this. Now we have the database connection. Let's provide that connection to our adapter. And we'll provide that adapter to our Prisma client. With the plant scale serverless dri driver and Prisma, you get all the same great auto completion and, and type checking with Prisma while also being able to communicate with your database over HTTP for serverless environments where that's pre pretty key concern. As always, what we've talked about here today and much more is available in our release notes. You can check that out on our GitHub. That's github.com slash Prisma slash Prisma. And if you have any questions, have some feedback for us, or want to learn more about serverless database driver support in Prisma, please feel free to head to our Slack or Discord in order to chat with the team and other Prisma users. Thank you so much.